what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel player of the week time and we're going to be taking a look and reviewing these cards now i'm going to get straight into it lads your time is precious and i'm not going to waste your time talking about player of the weeks too much anymore right we know what they are we know what kind of cards these are going to be they've started to limit the strength of these cards yes you get the odd outlier or you get the rare ones every now and again that are going to be very nice with the boosters the kettler uh, gabriel and maeda are there going to be there as well uh, with sliding tackle blocker and long range curler for their skills but essentially these are for newcomers coming across right i know some people say like oh you know i'm a free to play player like you always say that they're for newcomers what i mean by when i say that they're for newcomers is that if you've been playing the game for longer than three months you have had access to better players than what's on offer here. That's not to say that Gabriel or Reese James can't beast for you, or Rafa Silva can't be your main centre forward going forward. Uh, but what I mean is that like you'll have probably got Costa Corta or Rudiger or Saliba for the 50 match pass coins, because you can get 50 match pass coins every week. So I do feel like that with Gabriel here, he's down as a destroyer centre back, he's not a booster, He's got 91 defensive awareness, tackling, and aggression. They're obviously going to get a plus three boost with uh, Pep Guardiola and Xabi Alonso. So his stats are going to be insane, right, defensively. But he is lacking that little bit of speed and uh, acceleration compared to Saliba or Rudiger, who I think are the best at the moment with Costa Corta uh, as well. Now, this is a good player, but you're not guaranteed to get these cards. So that's why I always say it, like that these are kind of geared towards somebody that has just downloaded the game or that is just looking to get a quick injection of, you know, pace or power into their squad that hasn't been playing the game that long or else hasn't put that many hours in, right? Because some of these cards, man, are definitely just not even as good as standard GP cards. You know, you've got this guy here with 81 acceleration as a right midfield hole, hole player. He's got standard form, 68 balance get in the bin, you know, like player skills, you can get better players than this on the GP marketplace, Calafiori as well, this guy has got fairly okay uh, speed for a center back build up, but you know, you're not going to be able to get anything with this card, it is what it is, you'll be getting the plus three boost to tackling of course with Pep, but the rest of the stats are only going to be getting the normal boost, um, so I do feel like even though he's got good, good strength and good card, it is actually a good card, there is a couple of weaknesses in this as well. Plus, I mean, he looks something. I don't know, man. I don't know what. I don't know what his face looks like. There, he looks very surprised. Um, and I don't think you know that that hairstyle is doing anything for him. To be honest with you, he needs a makeover, which we might give him on the stream, but we'll see. You also have these three players here: Isco, Lopez, Ameda. Uh, left winger, loads of pace, lovely pace, uh, but tight possession and balance as a prolific winger is quite poor. Actually, looks quite decent in the game, the Celtic man. Uh, and he's got some nice player skills: soul control. He's got interception fighting spirit one touch pass an interesting card i mean some of these cards can definitely work for you you've got your traditional goalkeeper there parian and awareness will get all the boosters into the 90 with uh, pepper alonso but you know if you are at this stage depending on a goalkeeper like this you probably have already got your goalkeeper he's not actually a bad goalkeeper he's one of the better goalkeepers they've released isco has always been a favorite of mine back in efootball 22 when it first launched he was an absolutely beastly attacking midfielder but I do think that this card, even though it has double touch, flip flap and soul control and one touch pass with interception, I do feel like that this card's biggest problem is going to be his speed compared to like there's so many good attacking midfielders now in the game. You are so spoiled, like honestly, but this is a very good card. I mean, he plays a little bit like Pedri, so he's going to have really good dribbling. You're going to be getting the boost to ball control, dribbling type session and low pass. And of course, balance as well. This is actually a very good Isco card, to be honest with you, um, which I do like. It's a pity he didn't get the booster because that would have definitely put him up into kind of just below meta, I would, I would say. Rafa Silva, another player that got me Division 1 promotion way back in eFootball 22. And even in the beta, I was using Rafa Silva in the very, very early versions of the games. I remember playing with him at the early build that we did play um, pre-release. Speed, acceleration, balance are lovely. Tight possession, dribbling, lovely as well. Finishing is there as well. He's got he's got everything. He's got strikers instincts as well, which when you bring that up, that finishing is going to go to 90. The acceleration is going to go to 95. Speed is going to be above 90 as well. Ball control and attacking awareness. This is a phenomenal card. Now, this is what I'm talking about with cards, that if you haven't found a card that has been really banging a minfia or doing it for you, Double touch and soul control. He doesn't have flip flap. You can't give it to him because you can't train him. But it's a very nice card. Chip shot control, knuckle shot, true passing. Doesn't have first time shot or one touch pass. It's the only thing with this card. But he can play absolutely everywhere apart from CMF. If you want to give him that, you're going to have to train him. But 
it's a very, very good card. He's probably my pick of it. Saw a lot there as well as a fox in the box. No, he just doesn't do it for me. 62 balance is kind of putting him in the sphere of Haaland. Just go off and buy GP Haaland if you want somebody like this. Era superiority, first time shot, one touch pass. And of course, you could get super sub on him as well. We also do have the Kettler here as well. Has had a good season in fairness to him. He has got kind of one for the future. He's still young. You forget how young he is. Excellent ball control, dribbling type position, and low pass with the booster. And he also has double touch, one touch pass, low lofted, and true passing with long range curler and heel trick. So outside curler is always nice for shooting with him as well. But his, his inconsistent form is a bit of a killer. Uh, speed and acceleration and balance are just average as well for this position. You know, Rafa Silva would definitely be better. Isco would definitely be better. But, you know, it's a bit of a waste of a booster. I feel like Isco's booster would have been really good. And then last but not least, we have Gabriel and Rhys James. So Rhys James, for me, is a card that I haven't really used that much. But he is kind of a really good um, cross and right back. Now, he can play right midfielder as well. He's got soul control. He's got super sub, interception, and, of course, fighting spirit with one touch pass and pinpoint crossing. And outside curler, rising shot. They're nice stats. Very, very nice stats to go along with those skills. Lofted pass is insane, but the lofted passes at the moment don't really work. I think that Trent is probably still the best attacking right back in the game if you play to his strengths because he doesn't have great defense um, and you can train him up how you like him. But Reese James is definitely a good option if you do spin him. And this is what I'm talking about. If you get Reese James, he is your kind of nearly... I won't say end game right back, but you don't really need to upgrade your right back position for a long time if you get somebody like Reese James. And the same with Gabriel. I mean, this guy is going to cook for you. He's really, really strong in the air as well with 88 heading and physical contact over 90 when you get the manager boost. And of course, his speed is nearly at, 90, at 80 as well, which isn't too bad. The meta at the moment, if you are pushing rank or you're playing for more wins, is to have as many center backs as possible with 85 plus speed. Preferably 85 plus 85 aggression or 95 aggression for your destroyers. Um, and if it's a build up player, if it's a bit slower, you don't need to, you know, be winning the ball as much with your destroyers unless you're doing it or with your build up unless you're doing it manually. Their defensive awareness needs to be 95 plus and their speed needs to be 80 plus or 75 plus. So that is kind of just a very base guide of how to train your cards. But I am working on a video of how to train every card. So we will we will focus on that before the free reset goes back. But other than that, boys, that is it. Short and sweet. Uh, Borges Wine there as well as a Roman flank. He is down as a left winger. He can play left wing, right wing, or left midfield. Speed and acceleration is there. Balance is there. Finishing, dribbling, ball control. We've got the works with this card. First time shot, true passing, long range shooting, soul control, long range curler, rising shot and chop turn. Very, very nice card. Extremely nice card that I would definitely recommend if you're looking for something a little bit different. But you probably have a lot of players by now. If you are starting off, if you're stum stumbling onto this video, please do check out my beginner's guide. It's nearly at 200,000 views. And it, that's for good reason, because it answers every single question and anything that you need to know about setting the game up from, you know, off the pitch to on the pitch to tips to buying players starting off and really cementing yourself. I see people go online and get absolutely cooked because they're not prepared for the sweat fest that it is. Even with casual players in Division 5 and 4, People still play meta even without realizing it because that's what the game really does promote, you know, um, and those strong players. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back in the live stream. If you haven't watched the live stream, you can check it out. We'll probably have it up done by now and this will go up after the live stream. So check out the full live stream if you want. We also have a video on everything else covered in Thursday's update. And next up, we will have a video on how to get Beckenbauer for free. A bit of confusion about that, but we will discuss all that. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you are a beast. And we will talk to you in a bit.